Hi, and welcome back to Top Solid 7. In this next video, we're going to focus on machining this inside face of the part, and we're going to do this using 5-axis sweeping. Before we move on to that, though, I'm going to teach you a couple of other quick little tricks. First of all, if I right-click on the part anywhere, I can come right down here and say Hide Stock. This way it's going to make it a little easier for us to see what we're working on right now. To bring the stock back, you right-click on the part again, Show Stock, or you can also come over here where it says Machine Faceted Part, right mouse button click, and you'll see the Hide Stock Show Stock commands here as well. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to show you this icon right here. This one here, if you left click on, will hide or show the display of the 3D machine model. Any fixtures, of course, their visibility are controlled through the Entities tree as normal. From here now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and begin by just machining one of these faces. Why not this one? I'm going to right mouse button click and I'm going to come on down to sweeping under 3D. Now the reason it's under 3D is because sweeping first starts as a 3D tool path. I'm also going to change my tool and it's going to be a little ball mill. Cool. Perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my kind of machining and I'm going to change to the second option called Sweeping on Curves. What this is going to allow me to do is select two profiles to help guide the flow of my tool path. So that's the first profile. There's the second profile. And the only thing you're worried about here is that these two arrows are facing in the same general direction. After that, you can just click OK. But if we look, this is just treating this as 3-axis toolpath. So how do we turn that into 5-axis toolpath? Well, it's pretty simple actually. We can come into the toolpath, and I just double clicked on it to edit it, and I can go to my multi-axis button here. Once I'm in multi-axis, I'm just going to accept my default 5-axis option up here, and default fixed tilting angles, zero lead lag, zero side angle, and we'll click OK again. Now watch what happens when we run the simulation. Now the C-axis is going to start moving as well as our B-axis. And now we're cutting this in 5-axis. Pretty simple, isn't it? But in all reality now, if I pause this, we're going to see another little problem. And that is that our tool is running into the guide here, okay, or into the, the, the blade of the fan. So we need to do one more quick little step here. And that is we're going to generate a profile to guide the center shank of our cutter. Here's how that works. That toolpath is right here, so it's on this face. And now we're going to go up here to CAD mode. I'm going to go to our 3D sketch, and I'm going to go to Edge Copy. And from here, I'm going to select Path Between Two Edges. I'll start right here, going down like so. Perfect. I'll go here, invert the arrow, going down like so. Also perfect. Next, I'm going to come here and come on down to a command we call middle curve. I'm going to select this profile and this profile, and again, make sure the arrows flow in the same direction. And you can see now the software is generating for me automatically the middle profile between the two. Kind of cool. Last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Construction, and I'm going to duplicate this sketch in a linear way. And it's just going to be simple linear direction. We'll make it off the absolute z-axis. Why not? And let's maybe go for a quarter of an inch, two instances. Perfect. Let's see. If we rotate that around, that looks pretty nice. Maybe quarter is a little higher than we need, so I can come in here to my repetition, go to Linear, go to my Definition, and say, you know what, let's make this 3 16 instead. Perfect. Lastly, I'm going to go to my Entities tree, and in my Entities tree, if I come down to Sketches, you'll see I have my two sketches, the first one and the duplicated one. I'm going to turn off that sketch just to make it a little bit easier to see everything. Like that, I can come back to Cam now. That's the toolpath we want to control, so I'm going to go double-click to edit. I'm going to go back to Multi-Axis. And now we're going to make one quick little change. And that is, right here, I'm going to change the tilting method to be on or inside a curve. And I'm just going to go ahead and select this middle profile. That's it. 
And now what's going to happen is when the software simulates, you're going to see that the tool, let me fast forward a little bit, starts right through that profile. You can see it right there. And that profile is helping to control, control excuse me, our tilt. And now we're perfect. And we have just 5-axis cut the inside of our shape.